Hello everybody and welcome to a new batch of Pygame tutorial videos. In this video I'm going to show you guys uh, how we can draw things with Pygame, a lot of other things, because so far we've just done uh, rectangles, but you can draw a lot of things with Pygame. If you've seen my other series for Pygame back in Python 2.7, this will be very similar to a video we did there. Um, and then after this, I'm going to show you guys um, how to make buttons as well as like an intro screen to our game. Uh, because these are kind of uh, necessary things, and strangely enough, Pygame does not have a buttons um, functionality built in. So uh, I definitely felt like those should be covered. So anyway, with that, let's go ahead and get started here. What we're going to go ahead and do, uh, you need to keep the original script here. Um, so I would save that somewhere, and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is just like control A, delete. So I'm just going to clear the slate here. Um, so like I said, we're going to be going back to our game that we just wrote, so we'll come back to that, so keep that. But right now I just wanted to clean the slate and make this as basic as possible. So um, we're going to go ahead and obviously import Pygame, and then we need to do pygame.init for initiating Pygame. Now what do we need to do? Well, um, we're going to be drawing, and so I think it's a good idea to go ahead and define a bunch of colors so we can actually draw things. So we can define white really easily. White is basically everything maxed out. Um, so 255, 255, 255. Black is basically nothing, so 0, 0, 0. And then we can define red, green, and blue very simply right out of the gate. So red would be um, two, 255, 0, 0. Green would is uh, two, or 0, 255, 0. And then blue is 0, 0, 255. So now we've got white, black, red, green, blue. And that should be enough colors for us to uh, get a pretty good distance here. So now let's define a display real quick. So we're going to say game display. And that's going to equal pygame.display.set underscore mode. And here, um, we'll just do uh, another 800 by 600, that's fine. Then, um, that's it, that's all we really have to do. Um, as you guys should remember from back in the day, um, we can fill the game display by doing a game display dot fill. And let's give it a white background again like we did before. Actually, let's give it a black background because some of this stuff will be hard to see. So. Um, we'll do fill with a black background. And then what we can ask is, um, we can just write a, a quick while true loop. And this will be our, our game loop, so to speak. So let me make some space here. So while true, um, what do we actually want to do here? And we're just going to say uh, for event in pygame.event.get. We just need a way to really quit here. We're just going to say if event dot type equals um, pygame dot quit. What do we want to do? Well, we want to do pygame dot quit and quit, and that should cover um, cover that. And then we'll just run a pygame dot display dot update here, and that will update our display. And that's basically all we need. Uh, let me make this white just to make sure everything worked. And let me run that really quick. Good, we got no errors in that uh, that ran. So we can close out of this. Cool, cool, cool. So now I'm ready to show you guys like all the things that we can do uh, for drawing. So the first thing I want to cover is just a straight pixel. So we can actually draw pixel by pixel on Pygame. And the way that we do this is we can call the entire game display and we can convert the game display into what's called a pixel array. And it's going to be an array of pixels and the, each pixel will be a, um, I hate to say list, because yeah, it's going to be a list, because we can modify them. You can't modify a tuple. So it's, it's like a list, and it's a two-element list, and you've got the first element, or the zero-width element, is going to be the x um, val or the x of that pixel, and then the first element, or the second part, uh, will be the y element. So we can reference specific pixels this way, and then we can redefine those pixels as well. So not only can we get the color of those pixel pixels if we need to, for whatever reason, the real thing that we can do is actually redefine um, those pixels. So let us do this. So we could say um, pix array equals 
pygame.pixel array. And then what do we want this pixel array of? Um, we're going to do game display, which is the entire display. So we can actually reference this to any um, any surface object, which just so happens that we're using one major surface object right now. Um, so game display. So that's a pixel array. So that's 800 by 600. So that that's the array that we're, we're working with. So now we can reference something within it. Um, and I'm going to change this fill now to black so we can see what we do here in a moment. And what we can say now is we can say, um, underneath this pixel array, we could say uh, pix array. And then we'll reference, what do we want to reference? Well, we want to reference values in that array. And we'll say we want to reference x and y. So we could say, like, if x is 10 and y is 20. So pixel x of a 10 and y of 20, basically. What is that value? Well, we can say whatever we want it uh, to be. So we could make that color. Um, let's make it green. OK. So now we can save and run that. And it's probably very hard to see on my screen, but on yours, if you've been following along, you should be able to see that green pixel right there. And that is how you can redefine, um, redefine some pixels. Um, so we'll do that. Um, now the next thing uh, that I want to show you guys is we can also draw lines. So uh, we'll leave that pixel there, and we'll just we'll just keep drawing stuff to the screen. So the next thing we can do is pygame.draw.line. Where do we want to draw that line? To the game display. What color do we want that line? Let's make the line. Uh, we did green. Let's do. We'll do. We'll do blue. And then uh, the next question is, for the, for a line, you've got a start uh, start point. An endpoint, both those are tuples, and then you've got width. So a start point for our line could be um, 100, 200, okay? Comma, now the next uh, parameter will be another tuple, and the endpoint will be 300, uh, 450. <laughs> and then the thickness of our line uh, will do 5 pixels thick. So, uh, ignore my phone. So we'll save and run that, and we'll see our line now. So now you can see that we've got this blue line. And uh, again, to do that, you just specify the starting point and the end point. Easy enough. So we'll close out of this. And what else can we draw? Well, we can also draw, um, obviously, you already knew about rectangles. But let's go ahead and draw a rectangle really quick just to get it out of the way. So pygame.draw.rect. Where do we want to draw it? Game display. What color do we want it? Let's make it red. And then um, a rectangle, you specify the top left x and y, and then you specify the width and the height. And all of this goes in its own little tuple. So for example, our rectangle will start it at 400, 400, and then we'll make it 50 pixels wide um, and 25 pixels tall. And that's it for our rectangle. Let's save and run that one. There she is. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, the next thing that we can do is we can draw circles. And to do that, it is pygame.draw.circle. And a circle, you specify the center of the circle, and then you specify the radius of that circle. Um, and you can also specify the edge width if you'd like, but I, that just confuses me. So what we're going to go ahead and do is where do we want to draw it? Game display. What color do we want the circle? Let's make it white. And then what will be the center of the circle? Let's do um, 150, 150. And then how, how, what's the radius of the circle? Uh, we'll choose, um, uh, let's do 75, 75. Run that. And now we've got a circle here. OK? so. That pretty much covers it uh, as far as um, shapes that you can draw. The only additional thing that we can do is we can draw um, any polygon that we can think of, we can draw. 
This one I don't foresee people using as much, but you can, and you can use it to draw anything, so it can be useful. And unlike loading sprites, you can use accelerated graphics very well with uh, drawing objects. So it might be in your best interest to draw objects via Pygame, but anyway, it's kind of neat that you can do it, so I'm going to show you guys anyways. So pygame.draw.polygon, polygon. As usual, we say where do we want it. We're going to say game display. What color do we want it? Let's see, we've done red, green. Let's do green because we only have a pixel that's green. Red, or green rather. And then you start, and then you have like this parameter. And it's good. this parameter is a tuple. And it's going to be full of tuples of x and y coordinates. And each tuple is going to be a mark on that polygon. So for example, we could do uh, 25, 75. So that's the first point of our polygon. Then we'll do comma, another tuple, uh, 76, 125, and then comma, one more tuple, let's add uh, 250, uh, 375. So um, let me just close this off and make sure we didn't, okay, we have enough uh, parentheses there. Um, so let's even run that and see what we've got. So we have this uh, really, really, long triangle basically um, okay so we can close out of that and so that's why you don't have triangles by the way um, so those are three points but we can keep adding points here so we could now say um, another point that we want to have is let's do X of 400 and a Y of 25 let's save and run that one and now you can see how we've like stretched out the, the original one. So if you recall, this, this was the last point. So it went like this down here and then basically back. And now we've actually got four sides, even though this it might be kind of hard to tell initially. But we've got um, you know, one, two, three, four. So then you can, you can do something like, um, let me just add a bunch here. Uh, so we've got 400 comma 25 then we could add um, let's do 60 540 let's run that one now hopefully that'll give me an overlap yes so as you can see it's almost like we took it and we twisted it a little bit here it's all the same polygon of course but it's in the order of dots that we drew so we could draw these dots in, any, in a different order and actually have them all connecting in the way that we wanted, but it's basically going to connect the dots in the exact order that you wrote them in. So anyways, um, that about covers it as far as like drawing with the Pygame drawing functionality. So you can do everything from straight up pixel by pixel if you want, um, or you can draw circles, lines, rectangles, obviously, and then just like any polygon you can possibly think of. So um, just keep those in mind. Uh, as far as things that you can do, um, and I did just want to cover that at least again for Py, uh, Py Game and Python 3. So hopefully you guys are all caught up. If you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.